I'm going to show you how to replace the emitter on your Amigo. Typically what happens is this emitter gets damaged in use. You'll get literally thousands of uses out of this emitter, but if it gets bumped or bent, it actually needs to be replaced. So in order to prepare to remove this, we're going to have to remove this fixed platen. And in order to do so, we'll remove these two handles. And there are two screws on either end of the Amigo um, that need to be removed so we can remove the fixed platen. So let's get started. We're going to start by removing the six millimeter screws that hold the handles on. Now you can remove the two screws on either end of the Amigo using a four millimeter hex bit. Before we remove the fixed platen, we'll want to make sure that the Amigo is in the cut load position. And then we can slide the platen out. And then once we get it to out a little bit, we can lift up at this end. And then tilt the platen and lift out. Now be f mindful on the control side, there's a ground wire. So when you lay it down, you don't want to put any tension on that. And then what we can do is we can raise the emitter up and now we have access to remove the emitter from the Amigo. So I'd like to point out the spring right here. And this spring is what puts tension on the emitter. So if I push on the emitter assembly here, you'll see that the, the tension is actually relieved from the emitter. So what I'll need to do first is take my seven millimeter nut driver and remove this nut. And then there is a little washer here that lays over the emitter, so we'll want to be careful when we pull it off. But now I'm going to relieve the tension, pushing it forward. And then just releasing that assembly. I've got my washer. I'll carefully lay down my emitter and go over to the other end and remove the same nut. Now that we've removed the emitter, it would be a great opportunity for you to go in with a vacuum and clean any debris that's lying within your Amigo. Before we get started, I'd like to point out the cutout of the emitter holder. The square end of the emitter has to nest in that perfectly um, before we actually tighten it in place. So when you handle the emitter, be careful because it does bend easily. So I'll bring my emitter up to the holder. And you can see I've got it nested nicely in that cutout. Get my washer on. And my nut. And then I'm going to I'm going to just bring the nut up to the emitter, but I'm not going to fully tighten it up. I want it to move a little bit in there, but stay in that channel. And then we'll go down to the other end and do the same thing. When putting on the other end of the emitter, what we'll want to do again is we're going to have to push on the emitter assembly and bring it to the end of the emitter. We'll want to make sure, once again, 
that the square end of that emitter fits nicely in that um, cutout area of the emitter assembly. So now I can let go and, and add tension to the emitter. We'll put our washer on. And our nut. Now, um, I've confirmed that that is sitting um, in that cutout well enough for me to tighten it up. So I'm going to tighten this up all the way now. And I'm just going to support it as I tighten it so it doesn't pivot. And then I'll go down to the other end and tighten that up as well. Now we can end by snugging up the nut on the opposite end, making sure that the emitter is squared in the cutout of the holder, and then supporting it at the same time. The emitter is now under tension, so we want to check the alignment, and we also want to check the spacing between the emitter and the thermal couple. So in order to do that, that spacing needs to be the distance or thickness of this two millimeter hex driver. So what I'll do is I'll just slide it in between the emitter and the thermocouple, and I can see that I need to bend that thermocouple out a little bit just to make it wider, so I'll do that now. And then I can see where I'm at. I'll go a little bit more. That looks good. I'll spin my wheel just to confirm. Nothing moved, so now the thermocouple is in adjustment. It's now time to reassemble the Amigo. So first step is let's put it back in the cut load position. And then there's a little trick in putting the fixed platen back in place. There's a tab at the end on this side. It's going to fit in the groove on this end plate. So we'll lift it up carefully, being again mindful of the ground wire. And we'll stick it in right here. And then we will lower it on this end. And then we can slide it back in place. Now that the fixed platen is in position, we can put our end screws in. And we can also reinstall our handles. Make sure that when you reinstall your handles that you put some sort of Loctite or removable thread locker in place before tightening down. The final step would be alignment of the platens before you can actually use your Amigo once again.